Hello folks. Today I want to talk about water barrels and water storage. You have heard me say failure to plan is planning to fail. Well, this is a case of not planning very well. I had read several books, reviewed some websites, and decided that it would be a good idea to have some water stored. The experts recommended one to four gallons per person per day. So I purchased the two 55 gallon drums you see here. I also found that I did not need to add bleach, one eighth of a cup for those who are curious, if I was on city water that used chlorine and provided that I rotated my water every six months. So I purchased the barrels, I got a couple of bung wrenches, I found a place for the barrels and made sure my water safe hose could reach them and I also purchased a device to dispense the water if it became necessary. You can see all of those items on top of the barrels. Now to where my planning fell apart. They sell these neat adapters that will fit over your faucet and attach to your hose so you can fill your barrel. That is the black and orange device right here. Unfortunately, it does not fit over any of the faucets in my house. So fail number one. But not to worry, most faucets have an aerator that can be removed and replaced with an adapter that will hook up to your hose. That is this little silver item right here. Now, the one issue with those is that they come in different sizes. So fail number two. My advice is to unscrew the aerator on the faucet you wish to use and take it to the hardware store for comparison and that way you can avoid multiple trips the way I did. My hardware store actually sells three different sizes if anybody is curious. Now, to failure number three, and this is one of the big ones. For me, it's now time to rotate the water and I need to get the water out of the barrel. A full barrel weighs approximately 440 pounds. Moving it just is not possible. Using the hand pump that I purchased that's up on top there will probably take forever. But I told myself I bought a siphon for this. That's the clear little hose over to the side. Unfortunately, the hose on the siphon is only about six to seven feet. The hose that I used to fill it was 25 feet. Do the math. It's not going to work. But fortunately, the home improvement store does sell an adapter that you can put on the end of the clear PVC hose to connect up to your safe drinking water hose. So I went out and I purchased one of those. Also, I am fortunate in that I am on the ground floor of my house. If I was down in my basement, a siphon wouldn't really work because I'd have to move the water up 8 or 10 feet. There are several small fluid transfer pumps that you can buy for around $8 to $15 from the home improvement stores, but the reviews I saw were mixed, so I'm going to see how long the siphon takes, kind of as part of my punishment for poor planning. Failure number four is also a big one. Plan on when you're going to rotate your water so that you can use it. Right now it is the middle of winter for me and where I am everything is frozen. Plan on rotating your water in spring and fall as opposed to summer and winter unless you need an ice rink in your backyard. There are a couple of pumps out there that are meant for rain barrels that also hook up to sprinklers. My plan is to purchase one of those for when I need to rotate water in the future so that I can get use from the water that I have stored. So now I'm going to pause while I siphon out the barrels. I'll come back and let you know how long it actually takes to use one of the clear siphons on a 55 gallon drum. So I'm back. It took approximately one hour and ten minutes to drain the first barrel. I'm now on to the second. So what are my plans going forward? First, plan on rotating water in the spring and fall so I can at least use the water on my lawn. And second, I've purchased a water barrel rack which will make rotating the water much easier. Look for a future video on how I connect the barrels for maximum use and ease of water rotation. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes. And as always, please subscribe.